Hey guys, Simonster here on The Barn Gaming, and welcome back to another video. So, you probably know that The Barn Gaming is doing some pretty awesome stuff right now. We're doing gameplays every day again, or mostly every day, except for the fact that this upcoming week I'm not going to be posting anything. Sadly enough, it's a vacation, guys. Give me a break. So, Pretty much, I wanted to get back into uploading videos, so that's why I'm doing this series. I bought Minecraft recently to be part of my gaming experience with the new gaming computer I bought. So I figured, hey, why not get Minecraft servers, guys? I already got Minecraft. Jeez, what are you thinking? So I decided to figure out what IP addresses were for Minecraft servers. So, I had already been playing Minecraft on Xbox 360, so it wasn't exactly like I had to relive the whole surviving and creative experience all over again, because I used to do that every single day on Xbox 360. So I figure, why not try out some online game modes with servers? Which, I gotta say, is pretty awesome and puts the Xbox 360 edition to shame. Although, I do prefer the interface in some ways, and I feel like building stuff on Xbox 360 edition by hand is much easier. But once you get into server creation tools, like Craft Bucket, in Craft Bucket's add-on World Edit, you go into a completely new realm of how you're building your worlds, and you even have like tool brushes to help you out. So you really don't have to worry about building giant structures by hand, which is pretty awesome. But anyway, let's go back to online servers. So anyone can really make an online server because of these tools like Minecraft Forge and Minecraft's Craft Bucket, which I'm not exactly sure if it's directly from Mojang or if it's just its own thing. Either way, Crab Bucket's pretty cool, and anyone can make their own server with just a little bit of effort, and there are tutorials online to check that out. I'm not going to make one because it was hard enough for me to make it in the first place, and I don't have to want to relive that experience. I'm going to have you guys deal with that. Anyway, so... Craft Bucket, like I was saying, pretty cool. You can make your own server. I've made one. I haven't really done any editing on it yet. But this leads to all sorts of servers for you guys to explore. Now, of course, there's the big ones, like Minecraft Central, which I played survival games on for you guys. And ones that support one game type but have tons of support for it. Um, as well as servers like Mineplex. I was going to say Minecraft Central, and I just got cut off there. So, Mineplex, which is just the biggest Minecraft server out there, and supports tons of game types, and even have it has its own little map. So, there's some awesome servers like that, too. But then you also have small-scale servers like Zombie Manic, which I'm playing right now. Now, Zombie Manic is just awesome. Uh, it gives you its main game type, which is a zombie apocalypse setting. Now, its max players, I think, tops out at about 400. But usually, there's only about, uh, you know, 60 players on it max at a time. So I say we support these game, uh, these servers, because just because they don't have a huge support doesn't necessarily mean they're bad. For example, this is one of my favorite playlists, and Zombie Manic tends to have full games always going on for their Zombie Apocalypse playlist. However, not only do they have a Zombie Apocalypse playlist, they also support things like Hunger Games, which is not survival games. It's actually completely different. Hunger Games has 63 tributes, or a maximum of 63 players that can play in it at a time. Whereas, survival games on most servers tops out at about 24 players. That's uh, the usual, or the average in most situations. Now, I'm not saying 24 players is bad. I mean, I have a hard enough time fending off three. <sighs> Old Xbox 360 survival games where nobody plays, so you end up on a huge arena with a couple of people. Not that fun, guys. So playing with 24 people, pretty cool. But imagine playing with 63 people on one map. So you just got to see some zombie play, uh, uh, zombie, uh, zombie play game. What am I trying to say? You just watched me play some, play some, play some, play some. Hold on, give me a second here. I'm like a broken record. So you just watched some zombie gameplay. Now let's move on to human gameplay in Zombie Manic. It's kind of like playing on Call of Duty. So instead of having to do things like mm, 
always be a human, you can also play as the zombies, which you guys saw. And in this, you don't always have to play as the zombies, you can also play as the humans. Playing as the humans is awesome. You don't have an inventory, so you get a set amount of weapons. Now, this set amount of weapons can be altered by finding chests. That's a lie. It cannot be altered. I meant to say, you can pick up items and put them in your current inventory area. Okay, you don't have it. Okay, your, your hot keep. Your... Okay, so your items bar at the bottom, that's the only thing you can fill up, which is kind of a bit of a disadvantage, considering if you need things to boost up your health, or you need more arrows, or whatever, you're kind of limited on that section of the items chain. <clears throat> but... That's not necessarily a huge problem. Realistically, in these situations, you end up with a enchanted bow as the best long-range weapon, and a stone sword as the best close-range weapon. Now, the idea would be to hold off zombies by using the levers and continue to maneuver around, or just hide in a little corner with a bunch of people, like I'm going to do, and probably be brutally murdered. Now, on this map, and this is kind of popular, it's to mine away that little glass section right there, which honestly came, seems kind of stupid to me, because the zombies can just reach out and hit you, and you just have a higher chance of falling right off the edge. And they can also climb right over these furnaces, crafting tables, and chests. But it doesn't matter, because I figure, you know, there's three people there, I'll probably be fine if I go over there. But you never know, because they're the ones who left me out on the staircase to fend off against any zombies that may come. I hate modern day society. There's too many problems. Okay, so, you see, we're going to just place these spider webs, which also are a major mechanic in this game mode. They actually allow for blocking off the zombies in the sense that the zombies will still get through, it just takes them a couple more seconds, so... Meaning... They're useless, but, you know, they, they look cool and they seem like they're protecting you. So, you know, n no big deal there. Um, and now, in the chat bar, this guy's going to start freaking out saying, Place the spider webs! Place the spider webs! Place the spider webs! Which is kind of stupid, because I just wasted all mine on the staircase, which has zero significance, because nobody's up there to shoot the zombies while they come. So, I just wasted the spider webs. But oh well, because that woman next to me is going to be the first person to die. Now we can listen for the ominous banging and groaning of the zombies as they approach us and we're cornered. Now, as you probably know, this is after commentary, and to the left of us, not that crazy person next to us, uh, to the right with the pink shirt and whatever he's got, but... We're just going to shoot this creepy little zombie while I try to explain this. So, pretty much nobody noticed that we have a little passage for the zombie just to hop on over and walk over to us. Meaning, breaking this glass is just a waste of time. You'll see it in a second here. And we can say goodbye to I want cake in a second. Because he's just going to die. And you see, that does work for some things. Some people are too stupid to be able to stay safe, so they just walk right off the edge. Which is not my problem, but it's kind of disgusting. I mean... Come on. Once the altitude picks up a little, you got pieces of flesh flying everywhere, and... Ugh, it's just gross. I mean, their bodies are not being held together by too much. I mean, their skin is green. What can you expect? Uh, let's see here. Get out of here. I'm so tempted to just shoot you guys off the edge right now and hog this whole area to myself. Hey, get out of here! Now, this is always fun. Sniping. Until you run out of ammo, and then you realize there's nothing keeping you from falling off the edge and dying. And I think some... Where's that guy next to me? Ah, okay. You could have just said nicely. You didn't have to walk over me. Yeah. Killed while drinking a health potion. Saddest way to go. So I'll probably cut this gameplay once I turn into a zombie because being a zombie is just treacherous work, guys. Pretty much just standing around and 
wait for somebody to come near you, and then you just pretend to be inactive, and yeah, it usually works out okay. Now I'm gonna suck down some Darjeeling. Mm -mm -mm. Moon shining. Hey! Ah! No, no! Okay. Yeah, you yeah, know! That's always the worst way to go out. Just watch the land above you slip away from your reach. Now, I hate wood in this. Because you, if you're a zombie, you just have to break through everything you find. That means that usually when you're a zombie, your whole day consists of standing there and breaking things. It's not a fun life, let me tell you. Okay, so the fun thing about this is now I get to show you some zombie gameplay, even though I cut the whole situation just so I could show you that I didn't want to be a zombie anymore. But that doesn't matter. Now, you may have noticed some lightning bolts flying around, and that's mainly because when you kill people, the lightning bolt comes down and kills them. I'll demonstrate here. Ow! Get away from me! Okay, maybe I won't demonstrate here. I'll demonstrate in a little while. Now, we're actually on the map Titanic. Does anybody know the song? So they built the ship Titanic to sail the ocean blue. It's like a sing-along song. You guys should look it up. Okay, so I want cake tried to survive with me last time, and now she's dead. Now, I really don't know what kills people in this, being beat by the zombie or getting hit by a lightning bolt, because honestly, I think being hit by a lightning bolt would hurt a heck of a lot more than being punched to death by a zombie. I mean, just think about it. Look up in the sky, and then suddenly your body is burnt to a crisp. It still doesn't explain why they just randomly disappear, but at least we can have a little dance party about it. Now, what I always thought funny about this is that your skin to other people, for example, in Zombie Manic, you have, you pretty much look like a zombie to everybody else, but when you look at yourself by changing the perspective by clicking F5, I didn't know that. That's why I said that. It took me a long time. It took a lot of jumping off cliffs and looking at my frames for a second to figure that one out, guys. But anyway, by changing your perspective, you'll just look like your normal skin. I just happen to be a black person with a red heart that wasn't supposed to be racist, that was actually being downright serious. It's pretty much a blank skin. The problem is when you're trying to equip stuff, it's hard to even see your guy. Yes, I killed another person. I actually got that kill. Yes. Awesome. I love that. When you're in a swarm and you get the kill. Makes you feel so proud of yourself, even though you probably only contributed to 1% of the damage. It means something, man. It means something. Okay, so now that we're in the ship that's never sailed the ocean blue because it got all filled with water. Now, this one I really, really annoys me is this does not resemble the Titanic in any way, shape, or form. In fact, it's not even a big ship. It seriously has pretty much one room in the middle, and then, like, look at this. It's minuscule. I can see to the other end, and I have, what, five chunks loading? It's pathetic. Although there are a bunch of cozy accommodations, I gotta say. I would really like to spend my vacation on this ship. Actually, I want to see what the costs are. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching this Zombie Manic gameplay. And